This is the story of Takiyah Beverly and the mystery that surrounds the suspicious death of Jariah. With the upcoming retrial approaching May 2nd, who do you stand with when the justice truly is for Jariah? July 2016, as Takiyah would describe it, she married the man of her dreams, Morris Beverly. As Takiyah opens her mouth to say I do, she has no idea of the news that could potentially change her marriage forever. After getting married, they moved to Morris's hometown of Port Gibson, a small town where everyone knows everyone with approximately 1,200 citizens. While in Port Gibson, Takiyah worked as an overnight LPN at a nursing home. She would later work at a local school as the school nurse. One day, Takiyah receives a text message that any newly married woman would only hope is a prank. Allegedly, Morris had fathered a child right before their marriage. After swallowing this huge pill, Takiyah confronts Morris about it, and he confirms it to be true. Takiyah is, of course, devastated. She is pregnant, and now her husband may have another child? Allegedly, Deidreana Smith and Morris had been in a party over at his cousin's house when they hooked up. Deidreana was single, and there are reports that Morris told her he was single also. A few months later, she told him that she's pregnant and the baby may be his. A DNA test would confirm this. The date is October the 22nd, 2017. Takiyah alleges early in the morning around 5 a.m., Morris woke her up and said that he's thirsty and he wants her to get him something to drink. On the way to get his drink, she stops to check on Jariah. Takiyah says Jariah was a wild sleeper. She noticed her kind of over in the corner. She goes to her adjuster. When she touches her skin, it's cold. She immediately knew something was wrong and she calls out to Morris. When Morris gets in the room and he touches Jariah, she's stiff. Takiyah, with her nurse background, said there was no reason to do CPR. There were no signs of life. Morris calls 911. He was in such a frantic mode that Takiyah takes the phone. After talking to 911, she calls Deidreana, Jariah's biological mother. Deidreana gets there before 911 does. Takiyah says there was no swelling, no blood, nothing. Eight days later, the Mississippi medical examiner determines repeated blunt force trauma to be the cause of death. This case was ruled a homicide. Please like, follow, and subscribe for more on Crimes Among Us.